Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I thought maybe I would do a video on this because some of you guys had asked about the spray gun from Vever. Is it any good? I did. You know, I know one person did, and I didn't even know they sold a spray gun. And then I looked at it, and I thought, well, you know, it looks like a pretty decent spray gun just from the photos, but it was really hard to tell. Um, from the photos, so I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to get one of these and Vever has been excellent at Anything I've asked them to send me they've sent me within a couple of days. I have it so You know there is that as well as everything that I've gotten from them pretty much has been pretty good quality So I thought well, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these and show you guys first of all This is what's in the package we're not going to unbox, we stay away from all that, that seems kind of silly, but just showing what's in it. It does come with a pressure regulator, uh, kind of a cheap one, but it, it, it feels like it would do the job. I mean, I buy the cheap ones typically anyway. Um, it's readable, it works. Um, the things that I look for on spray guns are, again, does it have coarse threads? And this one definitely has nice coarse threads. The reason you want coarse threads are easier to keep clean. And quickly you can take off the air cap and easier to, easier to clean it because you can take it apart quickly. Uh, and it's easier to keep those threads clean. So that's an important thing. It does have, doesn't have the taper on taper fit in the front. It has this nice section with holes around it. Very similar to the higher end spray guns, um, and that's a better way for to get even air and amount of air around here so that it goes through these holes over here. That's where the air goes from that and gives you more even spray. So that is a good setup. The machine work looks pretty good. Uh, the thing that I liked about this one is it comes with a air cap needle and everything, the setup for the 1.7. So you could use this gun for an all use gun. So you could have, this could be a primer gun or a paint gun or if all you have is one gun this one could do both and for the price you never see one with the 1.7 and the 1.3 with its on here so it comes with the 1.3 that's a really good uh, tip for clear coat typically uh, it also works well for uh, uh, the base uh, single stage urethane so this gun looks really pretty good. Now, everything I've looked at so far has been really good. I have not sprayed with it yet, but we're gonna do that shortly. So if you stick around, we'll check that out. Uh, another thing, so these typically, this type of lid, I usually don't like, okay? And one of the reasons is because this thing can fall off pretty easily, but this one actually fits really tight so it's actually kind of difficult to get off and which is good because one of the problems with a lot of these type of lids when you get this type of one is you you know you're painting and you the gun tips sideways and the lid falls off and you got a big old pot drip or dribble on your work that's not fun but this one's tight enough to where i think it would stay on okay I'm not gonna say I really like this setup, but I'm gonna say this is probably one of the best ones I've seen of this style. So it does come with a pot, which is nice. But let's talk about another other thing that it comes with is it comes with also one of these. So this is what you put in the spray gun to use a dripless system. So you put this on um, and I think this one here is probably for 3M, I haven't read to see what it is. I'm not sure if it's in here or not, but I'll take a look at that real quick and I'll bring you right back in. All right, from the looks of photos online, I believe 
this is the 3M and it doesn't work with my D cups and that's what I usually use. Uh, but it does come with the adapter. Most guns do not come with the adapter like this, nor do they come with a regulator. Um, and nor do they come with a second spray head tip and all that. So it also comes with this tool set. It's nice. Kind of, you know, like a cheapy little tool set, but honestly, for what you pay for the gun, uh, that you get anything along with that is pretty amazing. And like I said, if you order one, it gets to you pretty darn quick. I mean, these guys send stuff like, I get stuff like, I, I tell them to send it to me and I have it like two days later. So it's really, I don't know what they're doing for shipping, but they don't mess around. They seem to get it, get it done, get it done quickly. I'm not sure what some of these are. I guess this is a little hook to pull the, pull this out maybe. I don't know, I've never seen one. I never needed it, so yeah. That's what it's for, I'm not sure. It's to pull something out. A little tool set that comes with it. Uh, even comes with a fitting that looks like a decent one, typical one you'd use. So, and even comes with some Teflon thread. So basically everything I need. Typically, I'm buying a fitting. I use these same fittings. So I'm buying a fitting and I'm buying a regulator. Like with my Harbor Freight ones, I've had to buy the regulator separately. And so like a typical gun is like $150. This one is less than that. I'm not gonna say exactly what, it was a little less than that. And cause the price might change. But uh, for the price, the, all the stuff you get, and it looks like it's actually, to me, um, in a lot of ways, a better quality gun. The machine work, you know, is not the, the absolute best I've ever seen on little things like this, but they seem to function really well. So I'm really not sure what this one is. Oh, well, just a spring for that. And there's no looseness in, you know, it's, it feels pretty good, pretty tight, like it would work pretty well. I'm pretty confident that this thing's gonna spray really good so in a minute we're going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and might be in a second for you guys but for me uh, i'm going to set it up and spray something with this and see how it does and we'll take a look at it all right i'll bring you guys back in as we go so far so good amazed pretty much um honestly you could get two of these you could get one and use it for primer or you could just you know if you're just starting out and you don't have a primer gun you could use it for primer, keep it really, really clean, and use it for paint. Um, but um, you could buy two of them, you know, for the price and have a decent primer gun and a paint gun as well. So I'll bring you back in. All right, so right off the bat, pretty good sized fan. That's a little bit of gun cleaner. Just going to run all through it. Seems to work pretty good. Not bad for the price, really. All right, so it's capable of getting down to like, I'd say, you can even spray this load about 17 pounds and get a pretty good atomization still out of it. I don't know if you can see, let's see. At, even at 28, it seems to be probably a little bit too much pressure for this gun, so. Uh, cause it starts to, the fan, if I take it up to 28, that's 28 pounds. The fan kind of gets heavy at the top and bottom. So it's, it likes to be a little lower pressure, which is good for you guys using, uh, maybe a smaller compressor. So that's really not too bad. And even down to, uh. 10 pounds, I mean, this is just with reducer. It still has some atomization, it's paintable. Um, 
I'm not going to say you're not going to get any orange peel at that low of a pressure. But I think at about 17 pounds, you could probably get just about no orange peel with this thing. So not bad for a DIY guy at home. I think it's looking pretty good so far. Let's uh, try some paint and we'll get back into it. All right, so I'm doing something I probably shouldn't be doing. I mean, I wouldn't recommend doing this, guys. Switching it back and forth. Um, it does have a little seal in here, if you notice, and they don't have an extra one in the package. I'm not sure if it's really necessary, but it does have a little seal that goes on here that you have to exchange between the two heads. But I wanted to try it in primer. So I'm going to try the gun in primer, then I'm going to try it in paint. And I would, I would recommend if you're going to buy one of these, buy two and have one that you use for primer and one for paint uh, because switching this back and forth changing the seal back and forth is going to make that seal probably wear out i'm not sure where they're available or if they're available so anyway keep that in mind i i'm not saying it's a bad gun i'm just saying i wouldn't recommend going back and forth between the two tips just figure out what you're going to use and use it all right let's check the fan pattern that's at 17 pounds it's a little bit bullseye-ish, but that's expected on primer. Primer is very thick, and we're using a 1.7. I think I can even turn it down to about 10. Let's say about 10. I'm just let, listening to it. So. That's about 10 pounds, right? That's 11 pounds. So, and then I'll just, uh, I don't want to waste all my primer here. I'm going to go ahead and prime this here. I don't have a mask on, but it's just a little bit of priming I'm going to do so I can talk while I'm doing it. It actually atomizes the primer really well. This is very thick primer. So, yeah, it actually works really good. Primer, I think this side is it's excellent for primer. Be a good primer gun, I bet you anyone is gonna actually paint well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smear these into the cracks like that. What I'm doing right here. Kind of restoring the steering well. This is a flexible product, so I'm just gonna shove it into cracks and stuff and then sand it smooth. I just uh, it's just what I have to do right now, so I I don't have any big areas to paint. So we'll be doing we'll be using this gun later in other videos in the channel. So stick around, make sure you subscribe, and watch some of those painting videos. Or I'm going to use this paint gun, and I'm sure I can I can paint with just about anything. But I'll tell you the advantages and disadvantages of it. You know, I'll tell you as I'm spraying with it or stop or whatever. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Like this, this is super thick primer. It atomizes it right up. I like it. I have a, a Iwata Air Gunza, which is a, a gun man's best primer gun. For you, the gunman, and this thing's at least as good a primer gun as that one. It's probably better for paint than, but it could be used. I, I'd say for the price. I mean, I, I paid more than what I paid what these things retail for for the Iwata, and this would definitely get the job done. So. Anyway, I'm going to bring you guys back in. I'm going to go ahead and prime this, and then we'll do some painting later. We'll take a look at painting on it. And I'm going to say for a primer gun, this thing's as good as any primer gun I've ever used. Again, like I said, it sprays as good as my Iwata Air Gunza, and that's the gun man's best primer gun. So if that tells you something. All right, I was looking at this, and I believe this is a SADA setup so you can probably buy the sada seals that's probably what i'm going to do just buy a sada seals you know like 15 bucks and then just put one of those in here and then just constantly have one in there and so i don't know what it copies the sada 4000 5000 i don't know 
or just one of the old ones or something but probably why it sprays as good as it does we'll see how it does with the 1.3 All right, let's do a side by side. Uh, obviously, this thing sprays really nice. I was able to get, you know, a no orange peel finish on that steering wheel, and this is really the wrong gun to use on that. I had to narrow the fan way down. Um, it sprayed clear at a very low pressure and atomized it really nicely. That's a really good benefit to a DIY gun. And if you look here, this is the Harbor Freight Spectrum, and this is the this is a good gun. The Spectrum, and it's sturdy, but the pertinent parts are clean. You guys, I I use this thing just just use it clean out. I only clean out the pertinent parts. I don't clean the whole gun. I do that every once in a while, but I I haven't done it in a while. So anyway, that's what this one's gonna look like in a little while. But the important parts around here will be kept clean. So if you look here at the Vever. It has this setup here with the holes. This is basically the same as what's on here. I think these are takeoffs from the SADA. This one has, I think, a taper on taper inside there to prevent using that seal, but the SADA actually has that same a little seal in it, so they kind of, I bet they interchange with the SADA. Um, the air caps have a similarity to them. Double hole here, double hole there, two holes in the middle. Yeah, double hole, double hole. So, I mean, and it literally sprays, I mean, 90% the same. This is less expensive than this one, by the way. Um, so, and people go, well, I have to order it online. It takes a while to get there. It doesn't really. If you order this thing from Vever, I, I'm not sure if they even charge tax. Because it's overseas, it, it comes like a couple days later. So really, it's just more convenient than even driving down the Harbor Freight. So the things I like about this one a little bit better are it has coarser threads. If you notice here, it has coarser threads here, so it's easier to keep these clean. And people go, oh, well, I, finer threads. No, the coarser threads are better, easier to keep clean. That's what all the really good guns have. Um, the only thing I did notice is this knob here is a little loosey. Okay. A little tighter on this one. No, it's still loosey, too. But other than that, I really don't see any reason why this wouldn't be a good buy for the price that they have on there. Yeah. With this gun, it did not come with a regulator, I believe. It did not come with one. This one did. So if you add that up, that's another, you know, that's probably $25 for a regulator like that. And you add that to the price of this, and now you're, you know, almost $100 more over here on Harbor Freight. You know, really a no-brainer to me. I, You know, if I did not have this gun already, I would have gotten two of these. In fact, I may ask them for to send me another one. And use it for primer i'll just start using those because that really it works as good as any gun i've ever sprayed with the only thing i don't really like on it is i don't really like this bigger pot um, but it, again it comes with the adapter for the looks like, like i believe that's 3m so yeah it, it comes with the adapter for the 3m and uh you can put the 3m 
tripless ones on there that would just be great then so anyway i see no reason why this gun wouldn't be great uh, you know somebody might say well it's a rip off of sada you know or you know honestly are you diy guys going to go spend a thousand dollars on a sada gun no you're not so it's not really taken away from their business if you're a body shop guy in you're looking at this you know spend the money on the sada because you know you're going to use it enough where you know this might wear out where the solder might last a little longer that's all i'm just going to say the metal might be better so using it every day as a business might be better to get the good one that's what the good ones are for so i don't think it's going to take away from their business even if it is the same it literally looks like even disassembles the same as the solder one of the solders i don't know which one they all kind of are the same as far as that goes and again so is this this is a ripoff from the sada too so anyway i don't know what the 10 percent difference is it can be up to 10 percent different of the other gun then then you're not the same so anyway i'd say you know what i'd say this thing's a buy definitely a decent gun uh you know it's cheap it, it seems to work if you're you know first gun i, I would say this is a hell of a lot better than the ten dollars Harbor Freight. Those there are garbage, really. The the to clean them, it's so much more work to clean those. These are really easy to clean because you just you're just here. It is. Look how quick you can get the cap off. Done. Off there. The other one you're turning it fifty times. This has no taper on taper fit here. It has the holes which stay cleaner. Um, you can just wipe the tip off really easily and then use it again. And like I said, it'll look like this after a while because you're using it a lot and it'll still spray great nothing wrong with that gun the way it sprays the way it looks right now it looks horrible it sprays wonderful so it's all in what you do with the what's going on in behind here and same thing with this as to make whether the gun sprays right so anyway anyway that's just a little bit about it um like i said this one here's like been my go-to but i think i'm going to use this from now on so stick around if you're new to the channel Watch some more of the watch more of the videos and have me spraying something larger with this because I'm going to spray a whole car with this thing in, in the future here and I'll let you know how it looks. I mean, I really think I, I, I'm confident it'll be really nice. But I, I think I can spray with almost anything. But this thing seems to be really good atomization. Comes out really fine. So anyway, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.